that kind of stroke Adrian Lynch has. Oh, God, no. No. Not this doofus. Cujo. Cujo, I feel bad for you. Angelo Stefano is having heart palpitations. And they're not caused by Alexis. They're actually caused by Adrian Lynch. Well, uh, I don't think Angelo Stefano cares that much for Alexis, but... The, the appearance of Snoop Doggy Red Lightning here, braids and all, has uh, apparently provoked Cujo and Angelo Stefano. They're not too thrilled about this replacement tag team partner. It's unbelievable. You got it, Cujo. I think he could, to be honest. Cujo's a tough, tough man. He's a scumbag, but he's a tough man. Leave it, leave it to the bad dog of war to uh, sum up the situation there, Doug. I don't blame it all, Cujo. I don't think I could have chosen any better word from Dick Brother with Red Lightning. Adrian Lynch has put one over yes, on us. Uh, Two new matches in ACW tonight. We will have Championship Wrestling. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with my good friend Derek St. Holmes Esquire. And it looks to be a, a new addition here. Uh, is this the person who assisted you with uh, that whole Bla Brandon Blaze incident? That's right, that's right. Brandon Blaze decided he wanted to step up to the plate, but he didn't have what it took, so I had to go out and find somebody that could uh, watch my back out there in the ACW rings. Brad Hammers, this man was ignored by his older brother, shunned by his family. I took him under my wing, and now he and I are a unit here in ACW. Brandon Blaze, I'm going to deal with you later, but for right now, Brad Hammers is the man on top of the tag team division. As far as I'm concerned, he can hold the tag team titles by himself. Well, do you have anything to interject with that? A taciturn Brad Hammers as usual. All-Star Championship Wrestling returns to the watering hole on Belmont Saturday, March 3rd for a television taping. You'll see almost three hours of action, including four-way warfare for the tag team titles. Hillbilly Hills and Kamikaze Ken yes. both put their singles titles on the line. And history will be made in a two-ring 40-man battle royal. Tickets are now at sale at the exclusive company in Green Bay for ACW March 3rd at the watering hole. Attention wrestling fans, as you know, pro wrestling has never been hotter, and the opportunity to become part of this exciting industry has never been greater. If you have a dream and a desire, the ACW Dojo of Pain can help you become one of us. ACW's experienced instructors offer you the training and the knowledge to help you begin an exciting career in professional wrestling. The ACW Dojo of Pain is Wisconsin's number one wrestling training facility, and it shows. If you are 18 or older and want to live your dream, call us today at 737-2610. That's 737-2610. Skateboarding is not a crime, but buying your gear at a place called March should be. Surf and Burn on Main is now a hardcore sponsor of ACW Wrestling, specializing in some of the most hardcore pastimes out there. With snowboards, skateboards, streetboards, music, video games, and DVDs, Surf and Burn has been corrupting young minds since 1988. Surf and Burn is the supermarket to the youth at 1277 Main Street, Green Bay. It's a grudge match going on here at the Watering Hole. All-Star Championship Wrestling on UPN 32. This kid, Brandon Blaze, looking to settle the score with a supposed mentor, Derek St. Holmes Esquire, Doug. We saw Derek St. Holmes and his tag team partner poke him out a couple of weeks ago here on ACW. And just a few weeks ago in Keele, Wisconsin, at ACW events, Brandon Blaze returns a favor on Derek St. Holmes Esquire, as we're about to see here, stealing that tome of knowledge from 
young, educated, and precious one, Derek Sanholt Esquire. And now, who's walking alongside Derek Sanholt? Baby brother has hit this ring. The supposed tag team champion, the man who turned his back on his own big brother. That's gratitude from you, from straight at what we would tell you call him straight edge anymore, Brad Hammer. As he accompanies Derek Sanholt Esquire, the Hampton hero to the ring. And get stuck with Red Rooster or whatever. I have Let no... Let me repeat, and so Red Lightning. Yeah. Who is that idiot? Why is he? Why does he take? have to take with Cujo? This is preposterous to say the least. It, uh, no, oh. I don't, we don't have electroshock panels here. I need I'm my sorry. pills. No nitroglycerin either. You guys need somebody with a pulse to be a partner. Either get me some nitro... Or at least tell me of a brain. Or maybe a, a, a something from Fazoli's. I mean, get Red Skelton instead of Red Rooster, Red yeah. Ranger. Seriously. We're going at a one-on-one -on -one here in the middle of the ring. Territory Homes Esquire, Brandon Blaze. We'll see if Brandon Blaze, away from the uh, influence of Derek Tannel Esquire, can uh, make a stand here at All-Star Championship Wrestling. He's got tons of potential. He's got tons of energy. But against a scientific maestro, to use a term like Derek Tannel Esquire, and he's got some muscle in his corner to back him up now. Oh, he's got a bad man in his corner. We've all seen it, what Brad Hammers is able to do inside and outside a wrestling ring. Of course, Brandon Blaze knows it all too well, too, as I guess we can put two and two together and realize he was the mystery man who punked out Brandon Blaze not too long ago in the locker room. Well, I don't know, but I don't like Brandon Blaze. He's a little... Look out, look out, beautiful! Spinning Mexican arm drag there, climbing up those ropes. Well done by Brandon Blaze. And Derek Jones Esquire, when confronted by a little speed and agility there. Brandon Blaze can't wait to get him back in the ring. Brandon Blaze uh, looking to make his own impact here. And the crowd getting in the case of Brad Hammers. What's their problem? What's their problem? Yeah, what's their damage? He's up there, Tiger. This is ACW. It's the watering hole. The fans can get drunk and cheer and boo whoever they want. Yeah, but they're stupid. No, thank you. I'm not even going to reply to that one. It's an argument I'll never win. Guys, it's uh, Derek King Home Desk Choir, Brandon Blaze, go out in the ring. I'm looking across the ring, and we have some guests from uh, Midwest Pro Wrestling in attendance. A fine wrestling organization out of the state of Minnesota. We see uh, Shifty there, Sheriff Johnny Emerald, Emerald, uh, Helmut Von Strauss, a couple others taking in the ACW action tonight. Yeah, and they've been coming up, and they came up to me and told me how cool I was. It's true, they did, they really did, they said that. That is a highly dubious claim, to say the least, my friend. Look out for Brandon Blaze. Wow. Look at that. Not quite a backflip, but uh, getting momentum there for that uh, somersault on the top rope and catching Derek Tate Holmes in the, uh, the head scissors. And, of course, it was an illegal maneuver. He pulled his hair. I'm trusting you didn't really see that. You're just making that up to get attention there, Angelino. Derek Tate Holmes, Esquire, uh, Avoid that offensive maneuver by Brandon though, and this is his pace, this is his time. He's got an opponent on the mat, he's got an opponent hurt, and he's gonna work on that ground game, I guarantee it. Hey, Coffin, what? look at the back of St. Holmes tights. He thinks That's why he is, because he thinks and stuff. I got that figured out, Angelo. Yeah, hey, all by myself. Up some clash, clash, clash tonight, Angelo. Well, Thank you. you, told you look out. Fisherman Suplex doesn't hold on to him. Derek Tatum's Esquire, that sadistic side coming out. He wants to punish Brandon Blaze. Stretch the punk, Derek. That was the end result last time these two men were in the watering hole together. Derek St. Holmes taking out Brandon Blaze and applying that STF maneuver right in the middle of the ring, humiliating this young kid, and then Brad Hammers punking him out. You know, he's game. Now look at this. The St. Holmes stomp, I love it. I've seen that before. What about you, Matt? Ah, uh, a long time ago. I'd have to go way back in the tape archive to uh, identify the wrestler who did that one, but Derek St. Holmes, one wrestler's not afraid to kick it old school, Doug. That's something you don't see for Stavano very often. Anybody lifted him up to get him on the top rope. No, I, uh, I don't like being off my feet. Yeah, give me a wide load sign at that. Derek St. Holmes setting him up here. That big superplex, and he nailed it. Devastating maneuver by St. Holmes. This one's going to be over quick. Got a two. Oh, no. 
Almost. Wait Man. a minute. Hold on. What's going on? Look behind TJ if you can see behind his head. You see him have a visitor at ringside. I'm not talking about Brad Hammer's baby brothers at ringside as well. But he, he's being sneaky. He's not letting Jared say no door. Brad Hammer, take a look at him. Our camera can pick him up, though. Camera's got him. Brandon Blake looks out. Turns him around. Cuts that flip out of nowhere. Cut it too. Whoa, that was close. Brandon Blake with that high impact pinning maneuver coming out of nowhere. A little springboard action. There you see Brad Hammer's. And Eric's starting to work his way Wait to the Wait a minute, top. Brad Hammers has got the ref. Eric Hammers. Oh! oh! That's the book. That's the book. Derek Taylor's best part. No Takes way. His own natural bridge and No three. way. I can't. No, 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 no. A natural bridge by Brandon Blaze and a little assistance from Eric, straight edge Eric Hammers. Gets that one out of nowhere. Eric Hammers helping out Brandon Blaze. Uses the tome of knowledge on Derek St. Holmes. The and infamous. Straight Edge has the microphone. Derek St. Holmes Esquire finally takes his own volume of literature, guys. And Straight Edge Eric Hammer is just the man to let him do it. And now I think uh, Straight Edge has got, got a little family business to take care of. I get the feeling it didn't take much. Talk, talk, like, what is that supposed to mean? I've lived with Todd for a long time, but. Yeah, yeah, hold it down. Well, you're on my list, though, Derek, and I talked to you and I on the phone earlier. Gio told me to tell you I am not with you, but I am going to do So, Brad, my baby brother, you know me? So, baby brother, Brad, if you're not too much of a man China tonight. What are those? Oh, wow. Oh, I think you know what that is. Just like me. It's gonna happen one-on-one -on -one in ACW. We'll see it next week, as a matter of fact. Hammers versus Hammers, Straight Edge Eric versus Brad. Tag team titles on the line, one way or another. Winning brother gets control of both belts. It's all gonna break down in All-Star Championship Wrestling, and we're gonna see it next week. Matt Byron along with Doug Kaufman, Angelo Stefano. We've gotta break it out for you every Saturday night where you're on UPS 32. We'll see you next week with more action.